Hello, this is Matt Landis, Managing Owner at Landis Technologies, and today we're going to demonstrate the Microsoft Graph Presence API at work inside the Landis Contact Center for Microsoft Teams. What we are demonstrating here is the Landis search component for agents to add a participant or transfer calls to another user. And we are utilizing the new Graph Presence API to provide presence uh, to intelligently connect users. So you'll notice currently there is presence there. And we're just going to do a search and show you how that works. So just type in, oh, better spell it right. And there you notice the present or the search is fast. And the presence is also fast. It snaps in very quickly. We also have enabled so that if you change your presence from the Teams client, and I'm just going to go ahead and change presence of the, uh, well, let's get this to another user. Just make sure my user's up here. So there you can see my user upper left-hand corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here on another PC and change that presence to do not disturb and you'll notice that uh, that will change even though you're just sitting here and taking a look at the screen and just make sure I changed it and I didn't actually click on it on the other computer so why don't I just do that I clicked on it on the other computer so set the other computer to do not disturb and then on this computer it should show there you notice it automatically changed to do not disturb so we have it up updating while it's sitting there typically the presence what we've noticed is the presence seems to really no matter how many contacts reasonable amount of contacts you search it's less than a half a second to bring in the presence and you're noticing I'm doing it real time here so you can see you know, kind of what that looks like. So let's try that again. And, you know, that might have been a little more. It is dependent on the performance of the service. It's dependent on a Microsoft service. So uh, that will be something that you will take into account. Currently, uh, a few items. Currently, the Graph Presence API does not provide subscription-based push update of the presence, so we pull it every so so many seconds, which actually gives pretty good gives a pretty good user experience. But as soon as Microsoft provides a subscription based presence API, we will take advantage of that and bring it into our Teams contact center. One other item that we've noticed is that not all the presence types are listed. For example, I'm just going to look up a user that I know is out of office. So Michael Stolzfus is actually out of office and it shows away. That is another item that is a not all present states are reported yet. We anticipate that that will be the case eventually. And once again, when that comes, we will utilize it in the contact center. So thank you for listening to this short episode about the Microsoft Presence API being used in a real-time app. And we hope that you will... Keep following the Landis Contact Center for Microsoft Teams. It's simple, familiar, powerful, open, and trusted. It's built on Teams. You don't need to integrate it to any other solution using an SBC or anything like that. So thank you for listening.